Hey. Y'all see them, don't you? <laughs> One. One. Two. Three. Four. Kicker L7. Q Class 8. Some of y'all asking, man, are you serious? You're going to run a kicker. After coming from Sundown, uh, DB Drive, American Base, you're going to turn around and run a kicker sub. Square kicker subs. Uh, the answer is emphatically yes. Uh, those that know me and that follow me for my time on Facebook, before I even came to YouTube, know that I have bought a lot of eights. A lot. A lot of eights. Uh, pretty much every eight you can name. The ones y'all see me doing on my channel right now, that's just recent. And I'm going to probably go back and go through all of them again, most likely. But y'all know from my very first video on this channel, I've had the XAV3. V2s, uh, American Bass, DB Drive. I've had Sound Cube Ace. Some of y'all be telling me to try Ace. I tried years ago. Y'all, you just not figuring, just not getting to them. But I'm trying them years ago. Uh, there's no eight that you can name. I, I'm gonna name names I have not had. I'm gonna name you the Ace I have not had. I have not had the Hutchinson Ella ETA eight. Not gonna get it either for four hundred forty nine dollars. Not when it has the same basket that the C two sounds Mezzi on, which I've had. Uh, the Ampere Audio two point five, which I've had. The Sound Solutions Fadeaway, which I've had. Uh, not when it has the same basket as those. The only thing different about the Hudson Head Eight is it has a Neo Neo motor. I'm not gonna pay you four hundred forty nine dollars just to say, oh, I got a Neo motor eight. It's not going to have any more throw on the 8 inch basket than any of the rest of them. So it's going to only give you a certain amount of output. Remember, I'm telling you something that y'all can take to the bank. Cone area is king. Cone area is king. If the cone area is the same, irregardless of the motor force behind it, you're only going to get a certain amount of output that you can get out of it. Period. Jacob Audi, Jacob Fuller, Sundown owner, with that SA8 on the, and the X8 V3. The SA and the X8 share the same basket. One has significantly more motor force and different suspension, so it, it goes from 16 millimeter and the X8 has 23 millimeter. The, he has tapped out that 7.36 cutout. All the rest of the guys, my DB drives 22.5. <laughs> Millimeters, uh, or maybe 30, 23. Uh, the Hudson's 8, 23 millimeter. The Sundown X8, 23 millimeter. The Sound Solution Fader Weight, 17 millimeter. The most throw you're gonna get out of that frame is 23 millimeter. You only get a certain amount of level output. Okay, how much power you're gonna put to it? You only get a certain amount of output because of the cone area. And that's why I start you know, showing y'all and buying <laughs> subs and telling y'all about performance. Here's the, the the Audio Legion 8, okay? When I was telling you that basically you're just buying a performance level. That 8 that I just showed you, this is 400 watts with a 7.36 cutout. When you get to the CT Sound Mezio on Sundown and uh, Fatal 8 and Ampere 8, then you get to the 750, 800. Uh, RMS, so you get a higher SPL because you get more wattage. When you get any further by that, I mean, I think Nemesis Audio had one for uh, it says 800 or 900 RMS, or maybe it's a thousand RMS. But that basket is bigger. That basket is bigger. I think that basket is 7.625. So since coming here is king, you're gonna get a little bit more output. Bass comes from the more air you can move. The more air you can excite, the more your ears will perceive as loudness. That's why I'm trying something. That's why I bought all four of these Q, -Q class. Because you still, still deem the eight inch, it has a seven and a quarter inch cut out. 
but it's seven and a quarter inch cutouts. It's measured how you measure a slot port. Length, width, time, height, multiplied is your square area. So when you do the square area cutout of a kicker L78, let's use this extra phone I got him. All right, let me show you. Let me show y'all something. Let's go to um, what is the calculator? Uh, uh, calculator. Okay, seven point two five times seven point two five because it's a square. It's equal to fifty two square inches. Fifty two point two square inches on each. So you multiply that by four, and you actually have 208.8 cone area. That's the air, that's the amount of air that's being excited, not the width from, not not the width from basket to basket in. No, the actual cutout because this is what's going to be moving. This is going to be exciting air. Yeah, 208 square inches is going to be moving at each stroke with each wattage. Now, let's look at your traditional eight. Ha! It's right here, fellas. This is your traditional eight. 7.36. 7 and 3 eighths of an inch cut out. Okay? 7 and 3 eighths of an inch cut out. So, you don't do 7 and 3 eighths times 7 and 3 eighths. Mm-mm. The area of a cone of a circular area is you gotta take 7.38, which is 7.375, divided by two gives you the radius of 3.6875. Now to find the area of a circle is radius squared times pi. So 3.68 times itself times 3.6875. 875 is equal to 13.59. You multiply that by pi, three, which is 3.14, and your cone area is 42. So, I have the Ford DB Drive G5, which I've been promised y'all a video on IT yet. I'm going to have to do before I put these in. Um, the G5s. They have a 7.3 cutout as well. The cone area per circular G5 is 42. It's four of them, so you time that by four times four. Your actual cone area that's exciting the air is 170 square inches. 170.7. Well, we do know that the kickers are 208.8. The rounds are 107. No, excuse me. Let me go back. 170.7. The difference is 38 square inches. 38 square inches. Well, if each circle is 42, the difference between the square and the circle is 38 square inches. 38 square inches ain't too far away from having from having 42 inches, which is the area of a circular. So, so it's almost like with these four, I'm going to be playing 5 eighths. And what do we know about cone area? Cone area is king. Most cone area charts measure the cone. They say a, a eight inch uh, subwoofer is 50 square inches. That's because they measuring from basket to basket in. That's not how you measure accurate SD. SD is actually how much of the cone itself, cone and a piece of the surround is moving. That's what's moving. The basket is not moving. <laughs> the basket, my brothers, it's not moving. The cone in the surround is moving the air. This is not doing anything to the air. So with that being said, and cone air is king, what's gonna be loud on the same power? 
See, I'm not changing my amplifier. I'm going to have the same Robert Falls Day BDCP that I've had for six years now <laughs> on every setup I've had. And I'm doing this because people ask sometimes, well, how do you get loud without changing, without adding more power? Increase the cone area. For instance, you had two tens with a thousand watts. And I came across this with a guy named Bud. Bud, you should watch this video. If you got a thousand watt amp and you got two tens on it, that means each ten is getting 500 watts. He turned around, this proud customer, thank you for your business. He went out, he has some NEP Audio 10s, two NEP Audio 10s on a thousand watt amp. He went and caught a deal and caught two American base. XFL 10s. Got them $200, $150, $150. Two of them. And he said, Man, I'm going to be louder. And I said, How are you going to be louder? The NEPs are 500 watts on 1,000 watts. One amp, 1,000 watts, two subs. It's putting 1,500. Well, man, these, these XFLs are 1,500 watts each. Yes, they are. You have a higher performance level, but you have not increased the wattage. So basically, the two XFLs are going to give you the same output as the two tens that you have now because you're not pushing them. You're not giving them the extra power. You got the same cutout, nine and a quarter. Nine and a quarter for XFL, nine and a quarter for NEP audios. The same movement of air based on the wires you're playing. You're going to get the same output. You could get more output if you increase the power. Because at each one of the tens you have, the new XFLs, they can handle 1,500 watts each. So you need, you need even a 2,000 watt amp will let you hear the difference between the NEPs, which are maxing out their performance at 500 watts, whereas the XFLs are maxing out their performance at 15. You need to increase the power if you're going to change the subwoofers. If not, you're going to do the same thing. The only way you can a significant difference is by increasing the cone area. Not going from two tens to another brand of two tens. Same difference. If you got the same power, if you're not increasing the power, I don't care what brand of tens you put in there, you only going a thousand watts of performance. If you get a high performance little sub, then you need to increase the performance. The performance by increasing the power. But there's another way you can get louder. Well, there's two ways. One is increasing the tip, a different, putting in a different type of enclosure. Maybe trying a fourth order, a T line, or <laughs> my horn, or increasing the cone area on the same power. Why? Because then you're moving more air. See, you got a thousand watts moving two tens. That is, let me look at the cone area chart. And I told him this. Let, 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 let me Google this. Look at the corner. The, the, it's not accurate, but it gives you a rough estimation of what I'm talking about. Uh, it's not accurate because they, they measure by the basket, and I measure by the actual cutout because that's what's actually moving there. Cone area uh, chart. Search. Find that for me. Boom. Okay. Cone area chart. Two tens, 157 square inches. Well, what can you do to increase the own cone and will it be louder? You could do two twelves on the same 500 watts and you'll have 226 square inches of cone area. You're moving more air. Same wattage, but more air is being excited so you hear a slight imp. Your ear will perceive loudness. Why? Because more air is being excited. I told him, why don't you instead of put it in, but you still wouldn't see, you would see more output, but you're only getting 500 watts. I said, what if you put it all on one sub? So he's like, you put all the power 110? No, you put all the power 110, you just lost. You went from 157 down to 78. 157 cone air, even though they're splitting the power, now you're putting all the power on one, but you only got 70 square inches, 78 square inches of cone area. No, 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 no. What you want to do is go the other way. Well, a single 12? Mm-mm. Because -mm. a single 12's cone area is 113. Now you under 157. No, what you want to do is 115. 115. 
Why? Because you're moving more in on each stroke. 115 is 178. So if you took the two tens out and put 115 in a box built by your boy, <laughs> he would hear a difference. His ear would perceive loudness because he's moving more air. And that's what I'm doing, Philip. I don't feel like buying another amp. I'm always testing things and trying to help people that get doctors for me and talk to me and call me and try to help them out. I'm finna shock the world with Kicker by using a, a premise that I know how to get louder with what you got without changing too much. Putting in full sundown eights is not going to put in full CT sound eights or putting in, I have to, if I put in, depending on what performance level I put in, will the, let's say for instance, I got the DV like G5s in there now. Well, if you put American Bass XD, the entry level line in there, would they be louder? Mm -mm. Probably get maxed out on the amp because my amp puts out almost 2,000 watts before impedance rise. So it would kill them XD, American Bass XDs, only 300 watts per. My amp puts out more power. So I got the performance level maxed between the subs I'm using and the amplifier power. It was just good. Because I, like, in my opinion, is 500 watts is all you need on the 8. Anything else is just getting turned to heat. That's all it is. From my experience in buying these eights and playing with it, 500 to 750, 750 on the high end, 500. You're going to get all the performance you're going to get out of that 7.3 cutout basket. It's all the performance you're going to get because you only got so much spider. You don't need that much wattage. You don't need it. Man, they got an eight with a thousand, uh, put, put a thousand on it. Yeah, and your, and your uh, spider is 6.75 inches. I don't see the point. It's just good to handle the heat. And they put a strong file of spider on it so they can, so it can not throw itself out when you're applying all that power because watts turns the heat. And then your woofer's damaged, but you're not getting any more output. That's why the boys like J Audio, and they four, $499.8. I've had them, but I did not pay that price either. I bought them used. They only give you 500 watts, and everybody know they can't handle no power. They really can't. But they gonna get just as loud as anything else. Just as loud. Why? Because it's the same cutout, man. Same cutout. Same cutout. Same spotter. Here's the difference with the kicker. Because now we got a square set woofer, so it's 7.25. Not cut in half. 7.25 times 7.25 gives you 52 square inches of cone area. When you add all four of them together and compare it against four circular subwoofers, what happens? You get almost a almost a fifth eight. You got it's a difference of 38 square inches of cone area. That's almost a fifth eight on the same power. Just building a box for these four eights, I'm going to be loud. Basic physics. <laughs> he who moves the most air is going to perceive his loudness. Stand by, y'all. See that beautiful enclosure I made for these boys. Uh, I'm going to have them for a while. <laughs> this has been my dream system. Even when I was running the Sundown, I just know I love them. I love the Sundown. They say it's good. Everybody, I mean, there's a lot of good eights out there. But how you gonna be, I mean, this is all basic electricity and basic math and science. I got a certain performance level. These are rated 550 watts conservative. Good clean power, because really, max, what's that? <laughs> as long as it's good clean power, what's that? So I got a certain performance level. This is the top of the line. What's gonna happen? I'm moving more air. And what's that going to happen? I'm going to be decidedly louder on the same power. The only way you can get louder on the same power, if you're not going to change the amp, you're going to get a bigger speaker. You're going to be able to move more air. The more air you move, the louder you are. Cone area is king. Get that through your heads, fella. Cone area is king. It cannot be beat. It has not been beat in 31 years. I've been doing this, and it never will. Cone, and once a performance level is met, Cone area is king. 4.8 will not be 4.10s. 4.10s will not be 4.12s. 4.12s will not be 4.15s. 15, if the cone, if the, if if all other factors are equal, and even using the same amp, 4.10s will not be 4.12s. 4.12s will not be 4.15s. Cone area is king, fellas.
Take it to the bank.